Hi, I'm Tim Travis of Xbox Reviews and Verdicts, and today I'll talk about Halo 4's second map pack, Majestic. Halo 4's last map pack, Crimson, was solid in its own right, but it was missing something, some close quarters encounters. Majestic is aimed to please fans of smaller team modes and free-for-all madness. Just like the video I did for the Crimson map pack, I'm not going to give you a final numbered score, but I will give you an overall idea of this add-on's quality. As you'd probably expect out of a Halo map pack, we are offered no fewer than three new battlegrounds. In this case, Monolith, Skyline, and Landfall. First up is Monolith. If you've played a lot of Halo multiplayer, especially from the first three games, this map style will be very familiar. There's four bases surrounding a middle structure where players fight over the central power weapon, in this case a rocket launcher. The map is symmetrical, there's a good amount of cover lying around, plus some man cannons. The formula simply works. Next up is Skyline, another symmetrical map. There's two bases here, the fighting takes place on two levels, and the quarters are especially close. It's a hectic map and expect it to be a capture the flag favorite. The final map is Landfall, which is asymmetric. This map will be very reminiscent to those who've played Halo 3's Longshore. There's one large central structure where much of the fighting takes place, but surrounding it are some open areas and smaller bases with enough cover to keep you safe in a tight situation. If you haven't noticed by now, these are some great looking maps. The art style is as good as ever, the color palette is excellent, and overall, this is Halo 4 looking its absolute best. Monolith might not showcase anything new in terms of the Forerunner A aesthetic, but being out in deep space is rare for Halo multiplayer maps and does space look beautiful. The other two maps show locales I've really wanted to see in Halo 4 human cities. 343 really went all out with the vistas, skyline scenery feels like it goes on forever, and witnessing a covenant attack on landfall is insane. Not many developers put this much detail into their maps. These maps look nice, but they play pretty well too. Again, these are close quarters maps, and I mean really, really close quarters. While this isn't quite as true on Monolith or Landfall, in either the 4v4 or 8-player free-for-all Majestic playlists, it never takes very long to get into a firefight on Skyline. Sometimes it happens seconds after you spawn, but spawn camping never became an issue. These maps are so tight that I noticed I was performing far more assassinations than usual, and don't be surprised if you have your ordnance stolen because you were jumped by an opponent out of nowhere. One possible complaint is that on Skyline and Landfall, anyone with a shotgun can seriously dominate. Instead of giving a player a good advantage if you play your cards right, playing against someone with a shoddy can be more frustrating than it would be on any other map. If you've been playing tons of Halo 4 matchmaking that's not big team battle, you've probably wanted some more small maps, and these are near perfect for 4v4 or free for all. It's Halo multiplayer at its most frantic. Definitely consider it if you play matchmaking regularly. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel, and I hope you enjoy my future videos.